Minneapolis. It's me, coming to you from my office in Roseville, uh, uh, I wish. Roseville, Minnesota. Roseville, California, much warmer. It's 47 degrees at 5.42 p.m. Do you know when I did the last video when I was at the beginning of the campaign, it was out in the 80s outside, and I was wearing shorts, and it was awesome. And now it's going to snow tomorrow night. Oh, well. Hmm. Sorry. There's so much stuff I wanted to do during this campaign, and I suppose more videos should have been a part of it, but the deal is, this must be why people leave their jobs to run for office and hire people and all that stuff. I'm, I'm one guy. I have a great job here at Symantec, uh, which I will be happy to go back to in the event that I don't end up mayor come January. So a lot of stuff that I had planned on doing or writing about or talking to you about or getting out there and meeting you about just didn't seem to happen. And I, I think I knew going in that was going to happen. I think I was hoping that in 2013 we'd be a lot more engaged online and it would be okay for me to do more of a virtual campaign, virtual door knocking, virtual, hmm, I will vote. The problem is we're not in a place where if you build it, they will come. And if you're not getting that coverage, and I've said this before, if you can't be taken seriously until you're covered, and then you're not covered until you're taken seriously, and it's so hard to break into that unless you spend a lot of money. And the problem is that I am very unhappy with money in politics, as I've said before. And I think that anyone who does spend money to get this job, especially the kind of amounts of money that have been thrown around lately, Hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars, maybe? Are you kidding me? So if you've seen a television ad, if you've heard a radio spot, if you've received a flyer in the mail, all of those represent expenditures above and beyond what I feel should be spent on this office, and those people should be disqualified. So, you know, with 35 candidates, that's easy enough for me to say. There's plenty of people left. The problem is you have to go out, and you have to actually look at those people and find out if those people are people you would be comfortable voting for. And it's just too much work. I understand that. I try to do the work for you. At CRZ for Mayor, the Facebook page, I wrote 34 status updates. And by the way, if you, if you find that you're missing some of them, Facebook likes to hide stuff. So over here, I think, there's a little drop-down menu that says Highlights. And if you change it to Posts by Page, it should list everything I've written. And you might see some stuff that you missed the first time around. Uh, because if you're here... The night before the election, maybe you're still looking for a candidate or two, so maybe I can help you there. Yeah, you know, and if not, feel free to just ask me, and I'll uh, see if I can help you out. Um, but I really didn't have a point when I started. Can you tell? I meant this video, not the campaign. I had a definite point when I started the campaign. The campaign was I was unhappy. I didn't like the six or seven people who were getting all the attention. I still don't. I think they're all weasels. I think they're all full of BS. And no one will call them on it. And it's funny that one of their favorite things to talk about is common sense, bringing common sense to the mayor's office. I don't think any of them have a lick of common sense. But we're all real nice. We won't stand up and say, you, full of it. Come on, give me a break. So who are you left with? Uh, me. No, you're left with uh, Mr. Wagner. Mr. Wagner has a great message. But I think he's put a lot of people off by... Uh, Showing off his killer bod. Sorry, Jeff. I, I, now that I've seen uh, Ms. Woodruff's saran wrap piece, now I kind of think maybe I should have put my junk out there, too. Nobody wants that. I think I've hit the issues that are most important to me, though. Stadium is a, a ripoff. If there's any way possible for us to stop it, we should. They're going to play in that thing until the end of the year last game is December 29th. I'm pretty sure the Vikings won't make the playoffs. Sorry, guys. So that may be it. Hopefully they won't start ripping it up right before the term starts, so whoever the next mayor is may get a chance to do something about it. At least take it to the new council. There'll be a new council by then as well. A lot of the stuff you think they may just be trying to squeeze it in before anybody who can give it a serious look can do something about it. I hope not. I think it's a big problem. I think it's a lot of wasted money. I think it's money that Minneapolis could either use on so many better projects or improvements 
or to return to the people you know, whose money it really is, the taxpayers. It's property taxes. Do you think your property taxes are too high? Do you see a correlation there? I know this is a DFL town, so like sometimes we're so excited about all the improvements that we can spend money on other people's money. Maybe we should get that money back, and maybe we can choose how we want to spend our money on what we want improved. But how much of that can the mayor do anyway? So many things are talked about that the mayor really has no power over in the city. It's a weak mayor system. The mayor's really good at starting the discussion, though. And I hope that I've at least started a couple discussions along the way. Some of complete strangers have mentioned my name. It blows me away. I reached somebody somehow. It's probably through word of mouth. So thank you to you if you've spread this around to other people and told them about it. Um... I think there's so much going on that I don't know about, and I hope most of it's good. I hope, uh, you know, you can point and laugh, too. I don't mind being uh, the butt of your joke or for you to derive some entertainment value, but I hope I've at least made you think a little bit about why you're voting for who you're voting for, and I, I hope you're voting for somebody and not against somebody else. I know they've tried real hard to make this a two-person race so that, you know, you're not casting a ballot for somebody. You're trying to prevent somebody else from getting into office. I got a secret for you. Those two people will probably treat Minneapolis the same way over the next four years, and I, I wish you wouldn't vote for either of them. I'd prefer you vote for me. I prefer you give me your number one ranking. You can give me your number two or number three ranking, but I don't think I'll ever be in a position where those will help me any. Number one is where it's at. Those are the ones they look at when they start dropping people off. And if I need to make it past the first round, I need to finish, I don't know, top half, top whatever, and then we can start looking at second and third place votes. But no matter what happens, uh, I'm glad I ran. I'm glad I got to meet a lot of exciting people. I wish I'd met more people. But I can tell you that even the crazy people and even the people who don't have their best interests at heart and even the people who are running because they want to run for something more important later, I don't think there's a single one of them that doesn't absolutely love the city of Minneapolis like I do. We all love Minneapolis. You'll probably be in good hands no matter who we elect. I think some would be better than others. I think I'm one of them. Uh, anyway, my name is Christopher Robbins, everyone. I approve this message. It has been paid for by nobody. I'm off the clock right now. But it's been a fun hundred days. I can see why people would do this over and over and over. I won't promise that I'll run for office again. I won't promise that I won't run for office again. But I'll have a lot of time to think about it, at least. I hope you go out and vote tomorrow, whether you're voting for me or anyone else. You'll get a sticker that looks just like this pin. Come on, everybody loves stickers. Thanks for watching. As always, if you have any comments, let me know. You never do. That's fine. I don't need to talk to you anyway. And after uh, tomorrow, who needs you? We'll see you next time. Go Wolves! 3-0!